Hey folks, welcome back to Undertale on Beefnopolis Gaming. I am Alex Beefnaw, and it is very possible that this is actually the last episode of Undertale. And I'm afraid it's not going to end as well as I as I kind of hoped it would. Because way back in the first episode, I screwed the pooch, and I killed Toriel. I did not kill anybody else. I did kind of kick Metaton in the junk a couple of times. I have not gotten the chance to do to kick Flowery in the stamens. Um, maybe I'll get that chance still. I don't know. But I've, uh, yeah. I, I thought maybe that would make a difference, but not really. So, uh, where does this elevator go? The elevator is in use. So, uh, we're, we're about to go and, uh, meet Asgore, I guess, and there's no music, um, which, which bothers me, uh, which really, <laughs> really bothers me. Okay, long hallway. Hey, it's that music again. Ah, leaves. Uh, save point. Wait. New new home? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, this looks like uh, the. Oh no. It's a golden flower. This. This is this is Toriel's house. Scrapbooks, books on how to make. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. The coals are still warm. If I find a butterscotch cinnamon pie in here, I'm gonna bust out crying. I, I'm just warning y'all right now. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Okay, all right. Um, waterworks averted. Some white fur stuck in the drain. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want, including this key. The stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. It's a trash can. It's full of... Oh, man. Uh-huh. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy. I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Presents. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Uh, I'm gonna leave it for now. There's a warrant now. No. Take it. Heart locket. Armor says best friends forever. Oh boy. Okay. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. A lot of striped shirts in here. A twin size bed. It's a drawing of a golden flower. Dusty toys. There sure are a lot of flowers around here. I don't really like that. Room under renovations. Hi, Mole Smalls. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Uh, 
Okay. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzled champs 98. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. Please tell me I don't have to kill him. Uh, please tell me Alphys was wrong. Oh boy. Macaroni heart of a flower for King Dad. It's a king size bed. <sighs> Okay, you unlock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 21X. The date is circled on it. Huh. Okay. Then, one day, the human became very ill. <sighs> the sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Oh. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Aww. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Hi, Shiren. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Oh, shit. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh boy. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Sorry. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will save us all. That was good. It was uh, um, You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Oh, God. You're gonna be free. What's this way? Last corridor. <laughs> Hold up. Can I? Okay. I don't want to go there. There's no point in dragging this out. There 
here we go. Now, here's this. Is that sands? It's shaped like sands. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. Ah, oh, shit. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. Awkward. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have an enemy, your love increases. Love too is an acronym. It stands for love, love violence. Okay, so Flowey was not entirely lying to me uh, early on. Um, a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Oh, fuck. Look inside yourself. No, not always, I haven't. Okay. I can't go anywhere. I can't move. I swear that I knew it. I knew it. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that, yeah, I, I totally screwed the pooch with Toriel, but I tried, Sans, I really did. <sighs> I tried. And he's gone. <sighs> Throne room. Hold up, what's this way? What's this way? Oh, Jesus. What the fuck is this? It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Me? It's empty. Oh, shit. Okay. Here we go. Hi. Hi, Asgore. I killed your wife, didn't I? Dum de dum. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Y you do that. Oh, hi. Howdy. I'm so sorry. Oh. Uh, that, that would be nice. But, you know how it is. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do. Nice day today, huh? Yeah. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. It's a throne. <laughs> a 
It's another throne covered by a white sheet. How tense. <laughs> yeah, just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, by chance, you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Let's do this. This is it, then. Ready? Oh, shit. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination! Human? It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh! So I can't spare him. I can't run. There was nothing to say. Ah, shit! Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Asgore. I have no heals. Um. Oh shit! Uh, I'm in trouble. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. That was actually fairly easy to dodge. Holy crap. Okay, is he trying to not hit me? Is he doing a Toriel? Okay, I got one hit point. Um, I put the apron back on. Oh shit! Okay, uh, maybe we're not quite finished with Undertale this week. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not. Um, okay. So here's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to go back and get some heals. Um, God, I don't know how. Um, do I have money? I have some money. I'm going to have to get some heals. Um, I'm going to have to get a weapon. <laughs> uh, and I'll see you next time. Take Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to do this next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.